What you need to know prior to Zyaflex injections. Zyaflex is a prescription medicine used to treat adult men with Peyronie's disease who have a plaque that can be felt and a curve in their penis greater than 30 degrees. It contains an enzyme called collagenase, which can effectively break down certain types of scar tissue. It is important not to receive Zyaflex if you've been told by your doctor that your Peyronie's plaque involves your urethra, or if you've had an allergic reaction to collagenase clostridium histolocum, or any of the ingredients of Zyaflex, or to any other collagenase product. It is also important to know that Zyaflex can cause serious side effects. These side effects can include a penile fracture, which is a rupture of the corpora or other serious injury to the penis. Receiving an injection of Zyaflex may cause damage to the tubes in your penis called the corpora cavernosum. After treatment of Zyaflex, one of these tubes can break during an erection. This is called a corporal rupture or penile fracture. If this occurs, surgery may be required to fix the damaged area. Damage to the penis might not get better after a corporal rupture, and this can occur in 0.5% of patients in clinical trials. In addition, after treatment with Zyaflex, blood vessels in the penis may also break, causing blood to collect under the skin in the form of a hematoma. This could require procedure to drain the blood from under the skin. Severe penile hematoma occurred in 3.7% of patients studied. Other side effects of Zyaflex include allergic reactions such as hives, swollen face, trouble breathing, chest pain, penile discomfort and bruising, or no improvement in the curvature or worsening of the curvature. It's important to review what corporal rupture is and how to recognize it. Symptoms of corporal rupture or penile fracture include a popping sound or sensation in an erect penis, the sudden loss of the ability to maintain an erection, pain in the penis, as well as bruising and swelling of the penis, and significant discoloration. Patients with corporal rupture will often have difficulty urinating or blood in their urine. Please call your healthcare provider right away if you have any of the symptoms of corporal rupture or serious injury to the penis. Do not have intercourse or have any other sexual activity for at least two weeks after the second injection of a treatment cycle with Zyaflex, and also avoid sexual activity until after all pain and swelling has gone away. The most common side effects following Zyaflex include a small collection of blood under the skin at the injection site, swelling at the injection site, pain or tenderness at the site, as well as bruising, itching, painful erection, erectile dysfunction, changes in the color of the skin of the penis, small blisters at the injection site, discomfort with intercourse, or a lump at the injection site. The procedures performed in the doctor's office by a doctor who has been specially trained to perform Zyaflex injections. Zyaflex treatment can include up to four cycles of two injections, each separated by approximately six weeks. The number of cycles administered will depend upon your individual improvement. Zyaflex is a series of up to four cycles of two injections followed by a modeling visit. Typically on the first visit, an injection is given to create an artificial erection to see and assess the severity of penile curvature and mark the area of maximal curve. Another injection of medicine is usually administered to bring the erection down. Next, the actual injection of Zyaflex medication occurs directly into the plaque. In essence, three separate injections occur into the penis during this visit. You can see the needle going in administering the Zyaflex medication, and then being removed. Zyaflex should be injected into the plaque by a doctor who's trained and experienced in treating adult men with Peyronie's disease. Your doctor will inject Zyaflex into the plaque that is causing the penile curvature. Zyaflex is given as part of a treatment cycle. In each cycle, you will receive an injection of Zyaflex, followed by a second injection one to three days later. After every injection, your penis will be wrapped with a bandage and your doctor will tell you when to take the bandage off. One to three days after your second injection of Zyaflex in a treatment cycle, you will need to return to the doctor's office for a manual procedure to stretch and straighten the penis. Your doctor will tell you when to come back for this. 
Your healthcare provider will show you how to gently stretch your penis the right way. You should gently stretch your penis three times a day for six weeks after each treatment cycle. You should only gently stretch your penis when you do not have an erection. Your healthcare provider will show you how to gently straighten your penis the right way. You should do this one time a day for six weeks after each treatment cycle. You should only straighten the penis if you have an erection that happens without any sexual activity or a spontaneous erection. Your healthcare provider will tell you when you can resume normal sexual activity after each treatment cycle and will also tell you when to come back if more treatment cycles are needed. Let's review how to gently stretch the penis. Gently stretch the penis three times a day. Only stretch your penis if your penis is not erect. With one hand, simply hold the tip of the penis with your fingers, and with your other hand, hold the base of the penis with your fingers. Gently pull the penis away from your body to its full length and hold the stretch for 30 seconds. Let go of the tip and then let your penis return to its normal length. In terms of straightening the penis, gently straighten the penis one time a day. Only straighten the penis if you have an erection that happens spontaneously. Bending your penis should not cause any pain or discomfort. With one hand, hold your penis, and the other hand, gently bend the penis in the opposite direction of the curve. Hold this more straightened position for a count of 30 seconds and then let go. It's important to know that there's an extensive preauthorization process for Xiaflex. The REMS program allows direct reporting regarding all potential side effects of the medications as well. The preauthorization process is essential with Xiaflex. We will communicate with your insurance company to determine your coverage and any co-payments or deductibles that you might owe. We'll provide you with an estimate of any charges that you may incur, and these charges are due prior to the procedure. Payment plans can be arranged if needed. A scheduler will contact you with a date once the pre-authorization is complete, and this date will be within six to eight weeks as it's important to obtain pre-authorization from your insurance. We hope that your procedure goes as well as possible and that you have a speedy recovery. We appreciate your genuine feedback regarding your procedure as we are always trying to improve the care that we provide our patients. Should you have any questions regarding your procedure or recovery, please contact your doctor. Thank you.